Beauty is defined as a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form that pleases the aesthetic sense, especially the sight. But the beauty industry has twisted these words to benefit themselves. We all use these products to look and feel better. Do you wear makeup? I do. Yes, I do. Yep, sometimes. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I do. If I feel like pampering myself that day. How old were you when you first wore makeup? Um, I first wore makeup probably the end of grade five going into middle school. Oh, when I was 15. Boom. Oh, this doing dance when you were five years old count? <laughs> In grade six, I used to wear sparkly white eyeshadow. <laughs> mm, third, 12? <laughs> um, I started wearing makeup as soon as I started getting acne. Why did you choose to wear makeup? Because I felt bad about the way my skin looked and I tried to cover that up. Because I thought it was cool. For myself. Ah, uh, because everyone else started wearing makeup and you don't want to figure out that out and it does make you look prettier. At first, I did it because I had a lot of acne that I wanted to cover up and uh, covering it up made me feel better about myself and kind of like, you know, erased your problems. Beauty products may promise a quick fix to your flaws, but make sure those long-term effects are worth the risk. Did social media, friends, celebrities, beauty ads um, influence your decision to wear makeup? Um, yes and no. I mean, they influence certain styles of makeup that I wear, but not the actual wearing of it. Yeah. And no. It didn't influence my decision to start wearing makeup because I started wearing makeup, like I said, for uh, to cover my acne. But once I had started wearing makeup, it definitely pushed me to go further with it and to add more things and uh, to develop my skills. Definitely, that's how I started to learn how to wear makeup. There was this one girl in my grade six class, and she always had sparkly white eyeshadows. That's why I wore it because <laughs> I had like the biggest, biggest friend crush on her. Have you ever felt that if you conformed to social norms that you'd feel better about how you look and who you are? Yeah, probably. I'm good. Sometimes, but I do feel better about myself when I don't. Oh, no. Yeah. I guess in a way, yeah. I only do those things just for me, because I, I like being, feeling feminine. I have felt that, but I don't agree with it. I, I haven't felt a huge pressure to do things like that like it's been suggested to me that, like oh you should shave you should probably wear makeup but I've never really felt held to it like I've never felt like I have to it was my choice to do it and it was influenced for sure by social norms but I did it mostly of my own accord my self-esteem increased after I started wearing makeup like I said you know you get rid of your acne all your problems and you start to make you know you look prettier when you're wearing makeup but the problem with that is your self-esteem increases while you're wearing makeup, but then when you're not wearing makeup, you don't feel as good and your self-esteem does go low. So it does improve, but you kind of become dependent on wearing makeup because you expect yourself to look like that all the time. Did you ever feel bad about yourself when on social media, reading fashion magazines, or watching beauty ads? Yes. Uh, no. Not specifically for makeup. I did feel bad about myself when I watch beauty, when I see beauty ads or watch YouTube and stuff, but not in the fact that I feel like I look ugly, but because, man, they're so good at makeup, I was, I was that good at makeup. <laughs> it was more of a skill thing than it was me feeling bad about the way I looked. My self-image was mostly affected by magazines and um, the expectation of, you know, body standards for women, like how, what your weight's supposed to be, it was not really about makeup. Um, Say sometimes you will compare yourself with other celebrities and be like, I'm not good enough. If there was anything I would say to young girls is that you are beautiful whether you wear makeup or not.
Is there anything you want to say to your past self about um, makeup or a positive message? Give my younger self any advice about body positivity, makeup, whatever. I would say that makeup is fun and you look really good wearing makeup, but you don't, don't feel pressure to wear it all the time and don't feel like you're ugly with it because that's not true. It, it's there to enhance and it's there to have fun, but don't feel bad if, for being yourself without makeup. Um, that everyone has a different style and just because yours is different from other people doesn't mean that it's a bad thing and doesn't mean that you're not gonna fit in. You'll get through someday. Be happy with like who you are and like what you look like and what your parents give you. I think I would say that like just do whatever you want. No one's gonna care in the end. You can just do whatever you feel like and if anyone's against it, then it's not worth it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care what other people think. If you want to do something, then you should do it for yourself. It is now the time to change the way we see beauty and how we define it.